This is an excerpt from The Best of the Equinox, Volume 2, Dramatic Ritual, by Alistair Crowley, with an introduction by Lon Milo Duquette, Wiser Books, 2012. The excerpt is from my introduction, The World of Magic is a Stage. I grew up in the 1950s in a small town in eastern Nebraska. Looking back, I realize how very lucky I was to come of age in an environment where the air was fresh and the water, at least in those years, as pure as any place on earth. At the time, however, I didn't consider myself lucky at all. In fact, I felt trapped like a wild animal in a zoological garden run by well-meaning but totally inept insensitive, and perhaps even dangerous zookeepers. I was painfully isolated, and I felt as if I were the only person in town that engaged in any form of self-examination. I never really fit in with my peers. I refused to join my classmates as they joyously rode their bicycles through the fog of the DDT spray truck killing the summertime mosquitoes. I rejected the ridiculous explanations of God, creation, and my own existence proffered by, with unquestioning conviction by my Sunday school teachers. Television would be my only link to the outside world. A world of comedy and wit, art and music, ideas and drama. Thank God there was a movie theater in town because the cinema transported me to an adult world of beautiful women and handsome men and heroes and villains. Adventures of the soul acted out in faraway places and times past and future. The theater was for me holy ground. It was my temple, my church, my university. Each Saturday and Sunday, I worshipped at the altar of the silver screen. Movies delivered everything the church was supposed to deliver. They liberated, then elevated my consciousness, fired my imagination, ignited my libido, and brought me body and soul into the living presence of the gods. I yearned to be on the stage, and as I grew older, auditioned for every school, church, and community production, play, and musical that presented itself. Contrary to what you might think, drama did not present an opportunity for me to escape or get out of myself, but a chance for a few moments to be myself. As an adult, I would learn that there is real magical method to the Dionysian madness of dramatic ritual. Indeed, every magical ritual is a sacred drama, complete with all of the colorful elements that contribute to the power of great theater, costumes, weapons, conflict, and most of all, love. Aleister Crowley was certainly not the first magician to recognize and exploit the power and potential of magical theater. But he was arguably the most audacious in his attempts to squarely lay it undisguised in the lap of popular culture. The 1910 public performances of his Rites of Aloysius was a watershed moment in his magical career. These seven planetary ritual dramas deservedly form the centerpiece of this volume two of the best of the Equinox series. Indeed, these rituals could stand alone as a viable handbook to the modern magician. In this book, however, the reader will also be treated to a wealth of additional collateral material and images gleaned not only from the Equinox volume one, including rare photos, and sheet music from the original productions, the essays such as The Earth, and J.F.C. Fuller's masterpiece, The Treasure House of Images, but also the introductory essay, The Right of Eleusis, Their Origin and Meeting from Equinox, Volume 3. 
To introduce it all, we've included Crowley's words about dramatic ritual from his magnum opus, Magic Book Four. In my book, The Magic of Aleister Crowley, I devote a chapter to Crowley's Rites of Aloysius, which are seven dramatic rituals originally published in 1911 as a special supplement to the Equinox, Volume 1, Number 6. Space allowed me only to include a full version of one of those remarkable rites. I'm delighted at the opportunity to now present to you all seven rites as they originally appeared in the Equinox. I append my introduction below. It is then, with the greatest of pride, pleasure, and magical excitement, that I now signal to the stagehands to draw up the curtain on the Best of the Equinox, Volume 2, Dramatic Ritual. <laughs> 